let's do a very important thing and what it is let's see we are going to choose a new file and uh, then clicking on upload it has started uploading we will get the progress which is here but now what if the user has just left this page so if i left this page and then once again came back to the same page what we should get we must have the previous uploading status so actually we need to fetch the progress or the batch from the database whose pending jobs is still more than zero obviously so for that we are going to create a new api route and this route is going to get all the batch so get for the batch slash all and on the sales controller it should be on the batch controller but it's okay for now i say batch all and then uh, not batch all i can say batch uh, working working batch <laughs> batch in progress yeah this one is good batch in progress so instead of batch all i can say batch progress or batch in progress like this okay so then after deciding so many names let's go to the sales controller at the very bottom i'm going to say function and this function is uh, having a batch in progress so since we don't have any model for the job batch table we are going to use the db queries so i say batches is equal to db and defining the table which is job underscore batches where this is very important where uh, like pending jobs is going to be greater than zero and then i'm going to get all of the batches for now i'm going to see what happened if i do this okay so now we need to call this as soon as we have creating this page this upload page so just like we have this use effect which is only working when there is a change in the batch id but we want another use state use effect which is only going to work on the mounted then we need to just give a fetch request and this is for the api and this is like batch slash in progress and after that we need to say then response response dot json and let's see what we are going to get since we know this process are done so we can one more time choose a new file to upload and click on upload yes we are having this progress now what if i reload this page i'm reloading this page and you will see we will have a actual request in progress and we are getting this current uh, job or job batch actually so we get the job batch id from here that's amazing because now we can actually instead of giving all the badges we can say if count of badge or badges actually is greater than zero that means we know we need to return the first one but we don't want to return the uh, table structure we want to return the buzz and the batch detail actually so one more time we do we are do, we are going to do the same thing so since we have the batch we can say batch give me first and its id if we don't have any badges then we are just going to return uh, empty okay now so how we can do this since we have the detail of the first one which we are getting from here after another one so another then will give, give me the data and from this data i'm going to set the batch id because we are getting the batch details just like when we upload we get the batch detail where is that yeah this one we say set batch id okay 
so here we need to say set set batch id data dot id one more time reload this page and how many batches are done so it's still in process and uh, yep you can see after a few seconds of delay once we have completed the processing we have in progress so this is a good time that means we can actually have some loading effect kind of thing or you can have batch details you can put the batch detail here also so you can do all sorts of things but this is very nice that if even if i refresh the page or user left the page after some time when he came back he can have the progress of the previous job amazing so this is very very amazing